Hey guys, Coach Bill Sandel coming to you from Chandler, Arizona, and I wanted to jump on here and do a video for you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions. Uh, I recently I had a conversation with a buddy of mine who videotaped his son during a game. He noticed some things right away that were that he wasn't doing in training. It really prompted a greater discussion because I've had a couple of parents now come up to me and uh, in our sessions actually, and I've had a couple of my guys in my sessions say, "Hey, Coach, can you videotape me today?" I want to figure out what's going on with my swing. And, and, and it raises a, a bigger question is that why aren't you videotaping yourself when you're not with me? Why aren't you videotaping your swing, your swing when you're doing your own training? I, I think it's pretty bad when we have to wait to go to a session, to training session, to videotape, to go, okay, this is what you're doing. Do you know you're doing this? And the hitter says, no, I don't know what I'm doing. Well. If you want instant feedback, videotape your swing during a game, during training, when you're on your own. I, and, I, and guys that know that training with me know that I always say videotape your swing when you're training in swings of three and, and then have feedback. If you're doing something wrong that you don't understand, have feedback. You know, that helps me in our training because then when I do the videotaping, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see where you are in the process of getting from step A all the way to Z. When you come to train with me, there's a progression. I want to get you better, but this is a combination of trainer, athlete, we have to work together. And it doesn't work just if you, you see a trainer once a week and get 400 swings. It doesn't work that way. And so, it was a great question. Um, this is not the first parent had, that I've talked to about this. And it did prompt something in our sessions where I had somebody say to me, hey, can we videotape this week? Well, you should be videotaping every day. If you're, if you're taking swings off the tee or you're doing live BP, you know, in, you know, in your high school practices or wherever you're practicing, videotape your BP. Um, I, I'm sure the coaches won't have a problem with you setting up an iPad and videotaping your swings. It, it only makes you better. And guess what they do at the college level? They videotape your swings. Guess what they do at the pro level? They videotape their swings because they want the feedback. They want the conversation. They want to see what your numbers, your metrics look like. And and this is o this is the only way to quantify and get better. Videotaping your swing is a great equalizer because if you don't think you're doing something in your swing, videotaping your swing can really iron things out. And so, great question. I'm going to dive into it more here. I want you to watch this video. We'll dive into it more and then we'll come back and we'll discuss. And then I come right to my office, pick up my computer and I'm doing video analysis for like two hours. And what people don't understand is that I probably take thousands of hours of video of my students every single week. And then on Saturday, I get a chance to go over that video, see how the week was, what improvements my students are making, if they're not improving, why, and kind of give them that feedback, you know? So you gotta ask yourself, are you doing that? Are you, are you with, it, with a coach that's doing that for you, or are you doing that yourself? Because I, I told my students this, if, if by high school, by sophomore year in high school, if you're not videotaping your swing and you're not swinging every single day, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get to the highest level. You're not going to get where you need to be. It takes dedication. There's no magic pill, right? Um, so, doing what I do every single Saturday, go over thousands of hours of video to kind of see. I also, I'm fielding phone calls. I have a student right now playing in a, a perfect game tournament in Florida. I had a conversation with him and his dad yesterday. I mean, that's what I do. I mean, listen, I'm not just a, an instructor or a trainer. I'm, I'm going to be your best asset when it comes to your swing. And I had this conversation with him, what he's doing right, what he's doing wrong. I get videos uh, from clients that uh, if they're playing in tournaments or weekend tournaments, they send me the videos to see in real time what we can do. All right, guys, so that's just a short clip, and I'm going to continue on with just what I do on a daily basis to, to support my students. And again, this is a collaboration. We talked about this. I got students playing in perfect games in Florida. Every weekend I'm looking at video. Um, it, it never stops. So if I'm doing this to work in your best interest, then you need to do this to work in your best interest. It only benefits you, okay? 
Let's keep watching and we'll come back with more Q&A. You know, we grind all week, and then Saturday is my time to start to wind down, look at video, um, and, and then get ready for the following week, because that video and the information I'm gonna provide you is part of our agenda for next week if you're gonna see me. The other thing too is, you know, what are you reading? You know, I, 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 told, I tell people about this book all the time, and I'll tell you what, this is the best read I've ever had. It's, it's Heads Up Baseball uh, 2.0 by Ken Revisa. If you haven't picked this game, if you haven't picked this book up um, and made it part of your everyday reading and part of your training, then you're missing the boat. You're missing the boat, it's that simple. Because as you get higher up, you know, you get into, maybe even make it to college baseball. I mean, there's mental performance coaches now at every level, and this is the stuff they're talking about. So. You need to get ahead of the curve. We've been doing this for about, I mean, I spent 15 years in the minor leagues. Uh, I've met Ken several times. I mean, this is his book. He came out last year, but he's had other books that come out. And we've talked about the mental game with my students. So if you train with me, you already know this stuff, or you, at least you should. But it's part of what we do. It's part of what you're going to do to get to the next level. And so I'm telling you right now, pick up this book. Make it part of your, your everyday reading. And I, I've already read it about 100 times. I can't put it down. There's always something in it I have to go back to to explain to a student why. Why is the next pitch mentality the best the best way to have it? Why are we so upset when we get to 0-2? I mean, listen, part of hitting is mental, and this is this is it. I got about 10 more hours of video analysis I got to go through. Keep sending me your videos, guys that I'm I'm working with on Zoom and online. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, we love you. Listen, I'm about at capacity, man. We, we're really taking off. Our swing training is going great. We're going to work on uh, power swing training and understanding your swing better. Stay tuned for that. I'll let you know. And then we're working with some other professionals to do some other training too. So get your week planned out now for, for, for the next week and get your mindset right. And remember, mind, body, baseball, it all goes together, guys. And you're going to see me post about that too. So hey, have a great weekend, everybody. Stay healthy. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, guys. So you watch that video. Basically, videotape yourself, plan out your weeks, understand what you're doing in training, instant feedback, go back and videotape and look look at the process. I mentioned Ken Revis's book, uh, Baseball Mindset 2.0, it's a great read. You need, you need this stuff on the way up. This stuff only helps you and makes you well-rounded as a hitter. If you can understand your movements, you can get your mental game straight, and you can perform live in a game. Okay, guys? That means you're going to showcase well. And then, again, this, this helps with recruiting and it helps get to the next level. So do yourself a favor. Take care of yourself. Be in control of your own destiny. And have a great rest of the week. I'll talk to you soon. Because that bitch go... Slayer, the hook, You want to choke, gun smoke, gun... Be back in a North Face.